All right, I want to show you guys um, my citrus collection that I have right now going on. So, one's kind of for you here, Wally. Take a look. Uh, our first one here is in a pretty large container, and this is a bear's lime. And it's got some flowers on there. Starting to produce some fruit too, actually. This one's fairly new to me. Planted just a few months is all. But doing great. And I just went ahead and wrapped it. Wrapped the trunk here. It's just some uh, shade cloth and pinched it with clothes pins. And then this is all just homemade compost here. And uh, threw in some, some straw. Alfalfa straw there, but so yeah, that one is a bear's lime. All right, let me show you my next pair. Okay, so next we have a matching pair of uh, Eureka lemons, and let me get a little bit better shot here. And what they're they're potted here in some old uh, irrigation concrete irrigation pipe and let's see here so eureka lemon and this uh, these two have also been planted just for about four months as all well. so the summer was really hard on them but uh, threw in some compost and I got some tomatoes popping up I, I think they're tomatoes so that's kind of cool but it hit like 30 degrees last night so it's just fun to look at they're not gonna last you know but so and Eureka is supposed to be ever bearing you know so it bears constantly from what I what I've read um, a little bit I think it's it's a little bit more frost tender than the Myers and the Lisbon. I think the way in order of uh, I don't know the ones you have to protect more are um, probably this one Eureka and then the Lisbon and then Myers I believe is the most frost hardy. So that's that one and then you get the little the old milk can with the uh, tractor seat on there. Those things are really comfortable. Cat's claw vine here. It's supposedly going to uh, cover this whole wall here with the cat's claw vine. But here's the other Eureka. Uh, not, not looking not looking too bad. So and same thing with the chunks. I wrapped them up. The sun is very brutal over here. Let's see here. More little tomatoes popping up. But yeah, I thought they were cool, so I thought, hey man, I could use that. So I'm not sure I was gonna spell you these things. Uh, and they're a little bit far from the wall. I don't want to know if I want to put a post. And then I got the kind of a little seating spot here. Get a little bistro set, you know, a little table or something. Gotta use these as the chairs, but uh, we'll see. I might just shape them up and small little balls or something but all right let's go see the next citrus all right the next one that's also in a small pot here is a uh, red navel caracara orange tree and also just been planted for a short time about three or four months but it's got Got the wrap protection on there. And it's, try to put out some new growth just be uh, just before the cold came, and it's doing good. Here we get some growth right here, starting. So let's see here. Yeah, red navel. Next one. Yeah, 
And this one is also in a container. This is a uh, Trovita orange. And that's good for juicing, from what I was told. And same story with the trunk. Uh, I'm not a fan of painting the trunks. Um, I don't know, I'd rather wrap them. So, there you go, Trovita Orange. Okay, next one. All right, this one is a, um, a uh, Mexican Lime. Dwarf Mexican Lime, and yeah, <laughs> it looks like a skeleton right now. But uh, it's coming back. It's leafing out a little bit here and there. But uh, yeah, the summer got it. It just uh, it got hit really hard. So we'll see if this one makes it. Uh, this one, these guys are really, they don't like the cold as much. So we've got to cover it when it gets really cold. And we got, uh, we got pretty cold last night. I didn't cover it. So I'm just going to kind of see what it does. But, uh, so yeah, Mexican lime. They're those are real small ones. Alright, next tree. Alright, don't mind the hose there, but uh, this one is a uh, Valencia. Valencia orange tree. And we got a cluster here. Try to thin that out a little bit. But, uh, some leaf curl going on. Also in a container with the trunk wrap. 